Here we go, back in Myth of Empires. I've gotten a bunch of things done in between episodes. We're going to try to work on a couple things here today with you guys. We're currently level 31. We've been leveling up nicely. We're doing lots of gathering, lots of grinding. I got myself a whole lot of flagstone made up. We made a whole bunch of wooden planks, and we made a ton of iron thanks to Dave out there on the iron mine collects about 100 iron every so often but hope you guys are having a great day today i'm excited to get into this because we got a little progress to go today that's going to be kind of big for us we got all of the iron already moved over as well i just made the tannery so we've got now the tannery the rabbit pin and the fox pin that we need to do and now we're going to finally this is the big one we're going to make the forge table boom four and a half minutes now we do have our crafting time sped up that's normally like 30 minutes or something like that the quenching pool, which we need with that. And then the last one is the smithing table. So three huge, huge items to kind of get us a little bit more progress here today. I also went ahead and moved the stone grinder into a new place. We've got it over here on the side now. Why is there a horse over here causing trouble? I'm not really sure. We've got the stone grinder back here, so it's actually in a good place. And I unlocked a couple things that are actually inside of it. So now we can actually use it to make a few things. Vegetable oil, soybean cake, flour rice sorghum i'm not really sure what sorghum is that gum i don't know what that is we've got basic green manure <laughs> basic ash fertilizer basic or organic fertilizer and then we've got rabbit fodder and fox fodder to try to trap the animals in fact i think we need to make a animal pin here in just a second as well uh, okay i was also repairing all of our stuff so we should be good to go on that we also put a brand new heavy armor on the horse i don't know if he's like super slow now I was kind of curious because we got heavy armor. He's got heavy armor. Doesn't feel like he's slower, but maybe. Does he still turn good? He still turns fine. Not quite as good as it was before. That's not bad. I think he's good to go. Oh. Oh. Ow. <laughs> A little bit of horse problem. All right. Jump off him real quick. So that guy's doing good. We renamed him Puck. So we've got Puck there. We've got our four horses inside here to include that one baby horse that grew up. To a level 29 horse we'll get that named later on and i think that's the main updates i did go to town yesterday and try to level up a few of the leveling things that we've been struggling with but let me show you where we're at on a lot of these things right now i just put points into two-handed because i'm going to go two-handed fighting just for fun for a little bit we've got one handed up to 91 nothing really going on there heavy armor we've got a couple points from early in the season but we're probably going to switch back to light armor very soon in fact as soon as we get the tannery made made up and put down we're going to probably make leather and then get ourselves the better leather made up. Let's do this. Tannery. Place. Oh, this thing's huge. Okay. Okay. Well, the tannery does not fit anywhere. Got it. This feels like a out here kind of item. Okay. Let's see if we can find a spot for it. It definitely worked for a second there. Hold on. Construction area is blocked. It went blue for a second. Right there. Yeah, I think that tree is causing problems or the foundation. I'm not really sure. We can go over on this side. Put it down here, maybe. Doesn't really work. Maybe we can... Oh, wait. There we go. We had something. Should I do foundations out here and then put it across this? That's not a bad idea. We can go a couple more foundations and ceilings out here to give us just a little more room on this side. We're, getting, we're definitely running out of room. I still got a little bit of the bridge to fix up, too. We're working on that. There's so much to do. We're definitely kind of running into a few roadblocks. But we're going to move back into the light armor soon. The other things that we were kind of taking a look at, agility, I don't think. Bow. Bow, we're up to 268. I went ahead and maxed out the expertise down here. If you go ahead and max that out, it gives you six times skill XP efficiency, which really helps out. Crossbow, nothing. Riding is maxed out at 450. You can't go any higher than 450 until you go talk to the dudes in the town and get missions from them, and then you can eventually unlock it. I think there's kind of some kind of proficiency scrolls, too, but I'm not sure how that works just yet. We'll figure that out as we go. Light armor, we're doing okay. We're up to 347. And then physique, we're doing great. 3333 on physique. Mining is 215. Lumbering is doing really well at 293. Hunt. Oh, we got something new in Hunt. Tier 1. Prey output boost. Increase the output of cr crude hide, raw meat, and fangs. Nice. We also got walk on tiptoe. Increase movement speed when crouching. That's awesome. That'll actually help out big time. All right. Planting, nothing yet. Intelligence, nothing. There's no intelligence here. Nothing under that one. Armor, no. Medicine, no. Okay, let's move to charisma. Nothing. 
drills. We did get that first one in there. And command, I went and leveled up just a little bit yesterday. We got up to 35. I definitely want more there. Recruitment, nothing yet. Tame. We got a little ways to go before the next one, level 300. And then renown, we're up to 350. But we got to get all the way up to 450 for that one there. So lots of things that we're trying to get into, but we're still kind of just landlocked behind of a bunch of things. We've unlocked a ton of different building stuff. I'm not going to get into the clay building stuff yet. Weapon stuff, we're kind of stuck here. We just got the exceptional weapons, but we need the table down in order to do that. So lots of stuff we're working on. Let's go and do a few foundations back here. I don't do any building with you guys, but we'll do just a little bit today to kind of move us into some of this. Let's go ceiling. And then we're going to need that that and where's the other one where's my twine and that are any of those things that needed no okay cool and we can go ahead and make a few different things we'll go like 10 of these give or take 10 of the foundations make sure i do the right one don't do the large one do like 10 foundations and just a couple pillars if we need them and then we'll do we'll do walls at, on the side. We'll do little half walls. I think that'll look pretty good. There we go. All right. Bunch of stuff crafting up there. We'll let that craft up. Can I move? We can still move. We did up the weight on the server, so the weight is a little bit higher, so you don't have to worry about being over encumbered all the time. Makes it a little bit easier, especially since most of us are playing kind of solo-ish. I have a guild, but I am playing mostly solo, especially since we're doing it for YouTube. I try not to make everyone else help me with all that kind of stuff. Area is blocked. Blocked. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. I wasn't going to foundate this area out here, but I'll foundate some of it. And I might remove these fences later. Can't I change the type? Oh, that works. Check that out. Perfect. Okay. Then we'll go back to that. Oh, my bad. And back to a triangle. It's weird that it won't build like that. Isn't that weird? I don't know. We're fine. Okay, leave that. And then back to normal. Okay. Couldn't put anything there. Let me see if I can put a ceiling piece there. Place. No. Okay. So it's just going to be kind of a weird little weird little dip right there. It's going to drive me a little bit crazy, but we'll be all right. I can't by chance put a, like a different shape there, can I? Oh, we can if we do it like that. Can it come off of that side? see which way should it go there okay it looks a little bit goofy but it'll stop me from falling in that hole quite as much now can i put the tannery there or should i put wall first let's put a wall first so we're gonna go like this go with a little railing action okay like so and then if we can fit now the tannery there hopefully probably not knowing my luck Oh, we had it. Okay, scoot it back as much as possible. Okay, trying to get it just right. Boom. Oh, that actually worked out halfway okay. All right, now we finally have the tannery made because we need leather. So let me go see what the armor that we're wanting to make. We have a new armor that we're trying to make. It should be in here on the tailoring station. The new armor is not on there. It's a... That's bronze, so it's not those ones. Let me see where it's made at. We just unlocked it, so I'm not 100% sure. We'll go back into crafting. We'll go back over to armor. And we unlocked high protective gear, which is made at the... Oh, forge table, which is what we're about to put down. These ones might be huge, so let me see how big the forge table is. Because it might be massive. Uh, we're still waiting on the second one. So forge table. Right. Place. Uh, this one's not too bad. It's actually size-wise nowhere near as bad as the other one. But we're gonna need, we're gonna definitely need like an area for it. We could go off over here. Have all of our forging over here on the side. We could do that for sure. Let's go like that. Let's go put ceilings down here. Let's go boom, boom. I'll put pillars underneath it so it'll look better and it'll allow us to go out further, but. That is good to go there. Okay. And then if the other pieces aren't too big, we'll place them right here with it. And that'll be the last thing we do today. So let's go like a so. And 
It just finished. Where is it? And now the quenching pool. And the last one we're waiting on is the smithing table. Let's see how big the quenching pool is. Oh, it's not too big either. So we might be able to fit these over here. Do them all against the wall right there. I think that will be perfect. So we'll go forging table, quenching pool, and smithing table. All in a little row right there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and go these. Should be good. There we go. And we might go out one more. I don't know. I'll think about that. For right now, that looks pretty good. Let me see what the timer is on this one. We'll wait on that one. I think we've got everything else that we can currently make table-wise going. We've already done that one. We're doing the smithing table now. We've got three and a half minutes. Horse tack bench I got made up over there. Carpenter bench, we're good. I haven't done a drying rack, and I haven't done a mortar pestle. Let's do a mortar pestle. And we'll do... Let's do the drying rack also. Drying rack. Okay. There you go. Get half that back. Where I did the medicine cauldron. I haven't done the torture rack stuff yet. And we haven't done these ones yet. Wooden plank and twine to work on those. We can only do one of these. We can do a basic grain pile, basic gravel pile, or basic wood pile. But I don't know which one is the best one to do. I, I know one of those, either any one of them gives you a passive production of a certain, like item but which one makes more sense and it says in the thing that you can only do one of the three so i'm not 100 percent sure on that we'll definitely wait on that for just a second so let me wait on get this done it's about to be nighttime anyway so i'm going to do just a little around the base kind of building and crafting get caught up on things and then i will see you guys in the morning and either we'll go for an adventure or we'll get the forge stuff set up and maybe get into the new armor okay we got a little bit of daylight we got the forge table and everything else down the they actually look amazing we've got the forge table here, this is where we're going to make our armor padding leather helmet, hide greaves, and hide armor soon, as well as the new sword, the weapon mold hand sword. I don't know how to do any of these. It's going to be kind of cool to get into this. That one looks like I can make right now, but we're going to focus on these ones. I need raw leather in order to make that. This is where you start getting into the rabbit hole of Myth of Vampires and just really all survival games, but this one especially. The amount of benches and the amount of back and forth in this game is a little bit brutal. So we have to do that. We, we're going to make those over there. We're going to make the leather in order to do that. We can't do it right now. We're going to have to take a bunch of steps to do this. We have to go over here because we need leather. So if we go in here, we learn on the tanner that in order to make raw leather, we need crude hide, animal fur, and vegetable oil. Of course I don't have animal fur. We have to go kill a bunch of foxes for that. We're going to get the fox pen going soon, but in order to do that, i got to go catch some foxes. It's a whole <laughs> it's a whole thing. But we also need vegetable oil. This is where another rabbit hole goes. We need vegetable oil, which is made on here with soybeans. And of course I don't have soybeans. I had like one little tiny stack of soybeans. We made a little bit of vegetable oil, which we need just a... I think we need... I think I need a total of six, right? I think six leather is how much I need. Uh, maybe... Maybe three. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to look up exactly. I think it's two leather per, which would be six, which would be six vegetable oil. So I need four more of those. We do need a, quite a few seeds, so I need to get some crop planting going. That's something we have to work on. There's another another fun struggle we'll have to work on. What's up, boar? I kind of want to take that guy out real quick. And then, so that's that big thing that we need to do there. I also want to go ahead and throw down these animal pens and get these ones going. We've got the rabbit pen. This thing is pretty cool looking. It is a lot bigger than I realized. I think I can fit one of these over here. Go kind of right next to there. Scoot it back as much as possible. Getting it lined up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we want it to at least look good over here. Okay, to the wall. There you go. Ah, that fits just about right. Got a nice little animal pen over here. Now, for this one, now we need to go catch rabbits. For that one, we need to make animal traps, which I actually have enough to make two of them right now. So let's go like that. Craft two animal traps. Those are coming up. We also have a fox pin. We can go catch foxes, too. I also don't know if the traps are one use or multiple use. What are you doing, man? Get out of here. Okay, you know what? It is time to use this. We'll get a couple headshots in. Oh, level 39. We might die. This might be a fun death. Let's do it. 270 is not how much I was hoping. There you go. There you go. The headshots are awesome. It feels like he slows down sometimes when that happens. Yep, missed me. 
There you go. We're good, we're good. Back up. There you go. Let him do his thing. Come on, come on, come on. 550. We're getting it. Oh, oh, he almost killed us in one shot. Ow. Run, dude, run. Oh, we're gonna die horribly. Okay, use the tree. Oh, come on. Shoot already. No, 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 we're gonna die. Oh, oh. Oh, by the way, the guild has moved back over here and they're actually building here now. Otto's got a crazy giant building going up there. <laughs> you see him climbing up on the roof up there. Otto doing his thing. I'm actually in chat with him right now, but I jumped over to do the little bit of audio real quick. And we'll just do this real quick. I, we might go on some guild adventures, but for the most part, everyone was just kind of building and hanging out. So I, I usually mute them, do my little thing, and then kind of go back and forth. We're doing a couple days worth of progress here. Let's go ahead and go like that. Let's go ahead and get this. Hopefully he didn't heal up any, right? Oh, my bad. Oh, dang it. Come on, come on. Okay, no. Okay, it's time. Let's get out. Let's get the glaive. There you go. Just keep circling. There you go. We're not very good with this one yet. We need to get some levels on it. Okay, switch to the bow since he's running. Oh, did he come back? Come on, I'm not that accurate. He didn't die. He didn't die, but he froze. Come on. No, come back. Come on, piggy. Oh, that didn't make it over the hill. Oh, he's hiding behind the tree, dude. That's smart. <laughs> We're never going to kill him. He pauses and I keep missing anyway. There we go. Whew. Uh, That was brutal. Now, I don't think I have a knife anymore. Can I make a knife? What do I need for a knife? I just need straw rope, branch, and rubble. We can actually get that real quick while we're out here. We might get a branch or two from the trees. Let's do that. But there you go. We got that guy. We got a couple things we need to work on here. I'm going to try to take these traps and go to an area where I can put a trap down and do that. I also want to put down the wolf pen real quick and we'll be good to go there. But there you go. Tons of benches down today. This was a huge progress day. Uh, even if it's not a lot of adventuring, but we there's just so much stuff to do when in terms of the base stuff, the building stuff, those kind of things, that it definitely makes it hard to really leave it all. Let me see if we got any points in our heavy armor. Did I get just a little bit of bark out of that? Got a little bit. We're just trying to make a knife. Got it. 18 rubble and a couple rope. Okay. Let's grab a little bit of grass so we can make that. Just need a couple ropes. And some rubble. Please don't disappear on me. There he is. Just make sure I don't lose him real quick. Alright, let me gather him real quick. We will work on this real quick. Get a knife, and there it is. I got the hammer? Alright, hammer time. There we go. Time to gather all the things, and then I will meet you guys inland. We're gonna go try to find a rabbit or a fox place to go. Alright, we're back over in Starter Land. We're on our way to, to attempt to get a fox or a rabbit or something over here. There's an actual little den right here on the right side for foxes, and then rabbits way back up next to the starter area. I think I want to go for foxes first. We've got both of the little pins down, but I'm going to put a fox trap right in the middle of the foxes. See what happens. See if they trap into it, or I'm not really sure what we have to do for that. We've got our little NPC that we tamed up last night. This guy's name is Bane. I put all the heavy armor on him. I'm also going to use him to attack a couple of the vagrant camps over here, the super low-level vagrant camps. Get this guy leveled up a little bit and hopefully not lose him. If we do lose him, it's not the end of the world because we literally just grabbed him. I didn't want to bring somebody from the other place all the way over here. So we'll figure that out in a minute. Let me see. Right in here somewhere. Just a little bit more forward. We're going to put these traps down. We're going to cross our fingers that the foxes get trapped. Um, there we go. I see him. All right. And these guys, this is easy because these guys are not aggressive or anything. So we can go up here. We can go small trap place. Uh, okay, it's working. It's working. Can I put it underneath him? No. Like that. Now, I don't know if we just wait and over time they'll get in there or if I need to make sure I get closer to him. I'm really, really not sure. Where's the rest of these guys? This is supposed to be a... Oh, there you go. I said this is supposed to be a pretty dense area. There we go. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they step into these traps. 
So I don't really know. I don't know if there's going to be like a sound and we'll come back over here. So what I'll do so that I can still find them. I'm going to leave my horse right here. Because otherwise I'll never find these again. And I don't know if I need to just stay in the area. Oh, wait a minute. The other one already trapped. Oh my god, did it go already? Hold on. Trap. <gasps> Gain fox. We got one already. What? Okay. Can I tell if it's a male or female? Uh, wild female. Got it. Okay. So I need one more. We might actually use all four traps here. Should I go up to this guy? Let's go place another one. So we're going all foxes today. There you go. Feel free to walk forward, buddy. Yeah, it worked. Okay. So the fox trapping, not too hard. Very cool. I assume some of the later ones are a little bit harder, but this is awesome. Place. Trapping a fox. Trapping a fox. Oh, I missed it. No, don't hit it. Okay, try this again. Place. Where'd he go? Uh, here we go. Got him. <laughs> we, we got that one. Perfect. Okay, cool. That was three foxes just like that. We've got a... Where's that? Where's the, the female? Female. Male. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Okay, we waited through the night once again. I've got those three wolves, so we're good to go on that. Now we're going to attempt to take out a couple people over here. This gets a little dicey because they are level 15, 14, and 12, and my guy is only level 19. So he's not exactly, like, beefed up or anything like that. We can double check if he's got any. He doesn't have much, and he's going to be working with what? He's got a... Uh, we've got a wooden spear, so <laughs> it's not looking great. Uh, he's got a wooden spear. Let's see. Do we have... What is spear? Is that going to be two-handed? So we'll enhance this a little bit. This ain't going to help much. Uh, as much as we can. There you go. You got 22 proficiency. It's not great. All right. We're going to go ahead and get attacking. Obviously, we're going to help him out. So this isn't going to be like a solo thing or anything like that. But let's go ahead and go attack mode. And... No, not that one. Hold on. Which one is it? Attack target. There we go. F5. Uh, no, escape and F5. Boom. Alright, get it. Okay, we're gonna help out a little bit. Let's see if we can take this lady out quickly. Her friends are not even helping, looking at her. They're just chilling over there. They must not like her. There you go. But this will level up our command slowly, so this is kind of why we're doing this. Come on, finish it. Finish it. Yeah, there you go. Vagrant hostility. Good job. Plus, we're gonna get some cool stuff out of these guys, too. So if we go quick loot. Got a little bit of things from there. Give me a little bit of coins, a little bit of whatever else. All right, let's do it again. Ready? Number 12. It is on. There you go. Get it. There you go. Let's see. Block. How do I block? She doesn't do very much damage, so I'm not too worried with this one. Hold on. Don't kill it. Let, let, let him do the thing. Get him, Bane. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Cool. So taking out these guys. And let's see if this is actually leveling up our stuff like we're trying to. This is the whole reason we're doing this. There you go. We went from 38 to 42 pretty quickly. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We could definitely get this done. Let's keep going. A little bit of F5 action. Get him. There you go. We'll let him get that first hit in. And then we will take some good swings here. <laughs> is he throwing rocks at me? Don't throw rocks at me. There you go. Now, I'm not very good at the fighting thing, but we're getting a little better. There you go. Finish him. Okay, get him, dude. There you go. He's pretty low. You got this. I believe in you. Very nice. Got a couple more things out of that. All right. I think there's a couple more guys right over there. We'll go check them out real quick. Did I get everybody? There's only three of them here today. Interesting. So we'll go over to this next little camp. There's one more little camp right next to us. We're going to knock that one out and see if we can keep leveling this up. That put us up to 47. There you go. We only need 103 more levels. There should be a little campfire right next door to this, and we'll go ahead and kill those guys too. And then we're going to try to go get some rabbits, but I don't know if... I just don't know if we're going to have luck because we have to go up there to our old base, and I think I left the forge there if we left the forge there we can run up there make some more copper hold on we're going for our guy my bad <gasps> wait there's a rabbit right there i wish i could trap you i don't have another trap and unfortunately i need copper ingots oh what are we doing we need 17 hardwood easy twine oh no twine okay it might not be a thing here where's our buddy come on bud 
Let's go take out these guys. We'll eventually get to some better villages. And I haven't leveled up two-handed yet, so this is kind of cool to be doing this a little bit. There you go. Oh, is this actually going to be a double attack? Nice. There you go. Two-hand. Level that two-hand. Oh, he got him. Good job. There you go. Boom. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, he's wrecking my face. Why are you not attacking this guy? Do you get it? There you go. All right. Finish him. I believe in you. There we go. Oh, my bad. I didn't want to get it. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Like that. So, okay. I don't think we can go make twine. I don't think we have the stuff here to make. Where Twine is made on a bench that I definitely don't have over here because we broke down most of those benches. So, I think what we're going to do is I'm actually going to leave Bane here. He's going to be our guy that we keep over here just to come over and level up command every so often. I might eventually kill him off. And then, not kill him off, but like, you know, kill him and recover him back at the base place. We might do that eventually, but for right now, we're going to keep doing it like this. So let's go, let's go inventory. All right, we're going to put you like that. I'm going to go ahead and take the gear back. Uh, yeah, because what I don't want to do is leave the gear on him. There you go. I'm going to take that, take that, take that, take that, and take that. Because if I leave the gear on him and then we recover him, he loses everything. So all that stuff would just be gone. Let's move you over here on the beach nice and safe. Like, I don't think he'd have a problem there. Just to be safe, we'll put him over here. So let me head all the way back to base. We're going to ride all the way back over there, many, many thousand meters, and get ourselves the foxes put down in the fox pen, make sure there's some fox food in there, and then figure out if we can get those guys going because that will help us start getting into, I think, fur. So then we have fur. Now we just need a soybean. So, uh, wherever we get soybeans from, that's what we got to figure out next. All right, go ahead and put you right here. All right, buddy. I believe in you. You do your thing right here. We'll be back. Stand guard. I can't remember if I showed you guys this last time. This is actually a guild base that's over here. Kind of just outside of the starter area. Kind of in between the starter area and the next harder area. It is definitely a huge base. They got a lot of stuff going on in there. This is the Fancy Lady Tribe, which is La Shasta and Pyro. They've got a huge base. Lots of stuff going on. Hopefully we can get them into an adventure one of these days. And we'll try to go get in some trouble. Okay, I feel like someone's going to win this battle and I'm going to get some free loot one way or the other. Maybe. Oh, the Rebel Colonel just got wrecked. Good job, boars. They're in there. Just, there's a wolf battle in there. There's boars over there. That is... Oh, God. <laughs> get up, get up, get up. Go, buddy, go. This is a bad news, bad news. Go, go, go. Oh, they that wolf just got wrecked, too. Okay, I was trying to loot the, the guy over here. That's what I was trying to work on before that all happened. Let's go like so. Can I loot you? Quick loot. I've got a leather fragment. A key for a level 30 chest. I don't even know what that is. That's awesome. And a whole lot of coins. Dang. Is there a chest in there that I could go check out? Let me see. I wonder if we could do this. Hold on. This is a really bad idea. Oh, no. Oh, you shot me through the thing? Come on, man. There you go. I need you to come over here. Ow. There you go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And... Oh, oh the boars are going to get him. Get him, boars. Oh, the boars are mad at him. Look at this shit. This is awesome. Get him. Get him, boars. I believe in you. Come on, come on. There you go. Get him, Boris. Get him, guys. <laughs> there you go. This is how we're going to do this. We got another cool thing out of that. Let's go bring another guy over here. Who else we got? There you go. Bring him on. Oh, he straight up dodged it. Oh, he's got a crossbow. Weird. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There you go. Let him load. There you go. Are you boys still mad? You want to... Oh, my God. He actually hit us really hard on that one. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the boars are gone. We don't have boar back up now. Okay, watch out. He's actually a little tough. 
Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, this is gonna be a long ride back. Hold on. Okay, I changed my mind and I don't want to fight. Go, go, horse, go. Go, horse, go. Yes. <laughs> All right. We had boar back up for a little bit there. I should have gathered that wolf before we got too busy. All right, I'll meet you guys back at base. It's getting close to dark anyway, so that's perfect. Okay, we did just a little bit of grinding here at the base. I got a couple things done. I don't want to put the wolves in here yet because I want to make sure we have fox fodder made. And I can't get fox fodder made until we get something for the rabbits made. Let me show you what it is in here. Uh, this one. So we want to make the fox fodder. But for that, I need rabbit hay. So I'm not really sure. I assume, I'm just assuming that I get the rabbit hay from rabbits, obviously. Right? I think. Maybe. I don't even know, but I'm hoping that's something that they produce in there. I don't know if it's something I can make. I don't see it anywhere, but rabbit fodder we can make, which is just grass, bark, low-quality wheat, and soybean cake. Oh, crap. I don't have soybean cake. How do I make soybean cake? There it is. That's easy. Soybeans. Okay, but in order to get into soybeans and into vegetable oil and the other things that we needed today, this is where the rabbit hole starts again. We need to put down some crop plots. So I've got a couple crop plots on me. We made five of the crude planters. We'll eventually get into the better ones, but we got to get a bunch of... What are you doing, man? We got to get a bunch of vegetable oil in order to make that. So what I'm going to do is up on top of here, I'm going to figure out a way to kind of build a little thing to get up on top of there. Not exactly sure how yet. I'm not sure how I want to build it just yet, but I would love to just throw the farm up there. Or we could just do it just temporarily since this is going to be kind of the intermediate one. We could just do it over here on this edge. I don't know that I like using this over here, but it's fine for now, I guess. So let's go get it over as far as possible. Boom. Scoot it. Two. Three. Four. And five. From what I understand, you can only put five down. All right, so for this, moisture looks like it's good to go. Soil, prosperity, cool, green, blah, blah, blah. blah. Fertilizer time, 0 of 20, can plant a variety of high-quality crops. So, open menu. Let's go crude planter, use permission set. Alliance, no. Hmm, how do I... How do I plant the crop? Do I have the seed on me? I've got the soy that we needed, right? So, if I go like this, aha, there it is. Wait, can I plant multiple in there? One, <gasps> two, three, four. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. This is actually awesome. Three and four. And then one, two, three, and four. Awesome. I'll take three of them up with that. God, they should grow decently fast. We have the rates on the server turned up to times two or times three for crop growth. So that's not bad at all. And then we have... There's another one that I need. Wheat. We need low-quality wheat going. Let's do that. Check out some low-quality wheat. This is our first time doing farming. This is kind of cool. I'm actually kind of excited about this. So that is the 8 key. Oh, wait. I grabbed low-quality wheat. I need low-quality wheat seeds, right? So let's put that back. So not you. Not you. I need... Hmm. Rice seeds? Oh, that might be important. Rice seed, barley seed, and wheat seed. Let's do... Hmm. We'll go with the wheat seeds first because I know for sure we need that for one of the recipes. I'm assuming we need these other things too, but get a couple of these planted down. One, two, three, and four. And then just to get started, let's go ahead and do... Should we do barley? Or should we do rice? Let's do rice first. I don't know which one we need need, but we'll do this one first. There you go. Boom. All right, cool. Now we just got to wait for that to grow. That's obviously going to take a day or two to get that going. Man, we've got a little bit of everything going today. Today's been a busy, busy day. Let me check on my warriors. You guys are not training anymore, but I've been cooking up a bunch of food. Let's get those training again. Check on their XP because I guarantee they're going to be looking pretty good over here. These guys are going to be eventually ready to go back. 34 for Ned and 30 for Elephase. Let's go like that and like that. Boom. Back to swinging. And then Elephase. We're going to go ahead and put like that, like that. Put 25 in there. Boom. Ella Face is now rolling. She should have quite a few levels in right now. Let's go ahead and check out hers. So her two-handed is up to 258. She's a beast. Uh, polearm. Oh, wait, which one are you leveling up right now? What are those two? Looks like that's the one she's working on. So we could put more points in. 
we get her up to 270, but let's not do that right now. Let's put some into maybe light armor. Let's wait, because I don't know which one we want to put it into, but we definitely want to level her up soon. And then our boy Ned over here should have a nice amount of stuff, too. He's working on one-handed. So for the one-handed, he is up to 360. So that guy's killing it as well. Good job, man. Very cool, man. They're absolutely killing it. And then our buddy Don't Die Dave over here gathering iron for us. We had a few hundred iron when we logged on this morning. We're going to go ahead and throw you some more food, too. We've got 10 hours going on there. Absolutely awesome. All right. I think that's everything for today. We got a lot done. I still got a few things around the base place to do. Obviously, I'm going to wait until those crops go. I'll make sure that'll be in the next episode. We'll get a little bit of crop action going. We've got these three devices built but haven't got to use them yet. Hopefully, we'll have... Basically, what we're waiting on is that raw leather. I need two raw leather, two, four, six raw leather, and then I need... Actually, hold on. I might be able to do this weapon mold pawn sword. Four ingot and four hardwood. I, I might be able to do that. This will be the last thing we do. Last thing we do. So we've got... Like a soap. Right. And a little bit of hardwood. There you go. Oh, not all of it. Hold on. <laughs> My bad. There you go. Hold on. Keep crafting. I need a bajillion branches. Keep making branches. So this should make the mold, right? So we go like this. Never done this, so I'm completely unsure how this works. All right. Weapon mold iron whip. Okay, we'll make that one first. We've got a minute on that, and then I think we transfer it over here. Put it there. I think. And then we bring it over here, and we do something with it here. Here it is. Transfer items to target inventory. I have no idea. This is very confusing. This will be the last thing we get done today. All right, let me wait on this just for a second. Okay, we got our mold done. Quench it after forging to complete the product. So we go over here. We put this in here. And then we need one animal fat and one vegetable oil. Interesting. Never done this before. Our friend Goat was over here inside the guild just a second ago. Let's go grab that vegetable oil. I have a whole that much. <laughs> one vegetable oil. And then animal fat I definitely have up here. I think we put that in the, the random box over there. Let's go check that out. Like so. Animal fat. Hopefully this is all we need for it. I don't know. And we got that. Boom, boom. Oh, vegetable oil. My bad. That one. Okay. Confirm. And now it's doing the thing. Oh, and it's the bar's going up right there. Okay, so that's working. Cool. That is awesome. This is really well done, man. There's like just a lot of cool little steps for it. All right. And now we have a Han sword. Let's check out that sword compared to our other sword. So we have like a bone sword, which does 101 slash damage, 111 piercing damage. This one does 184 and 204. Wow. That is way bigger. 465 proficiency requirement. Proficiency penalty. So because I'm not 465, we'll take a slight penalty with it. But there you go, man. There's the new sword. That is awesome. Okay. Cool, man. I am going to log off for the day. That is a good way to get things done. I, so I don't know what we're going to use this for. I guess I didn't actually need this one yet. Transfer the target inventory smithing table. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I just haven't unlocked what we have there. I do have a lot of things that we can look through and unlock because we did just hit level 31, I believe. So we might have unlocked a couple things, but I, I'll look through that a little bit later. only one I'd be really worried about right now is if we got maybe some new tools or weapons, but I don't think we did. No, it looks like we're, we're still kind of stuck behind. Level 36 is the next big level there. Uh, here's the weapons. We do have exceptional two-handed weapons. These ones we don't get until level 41, so that's going to be a while. Armor, we got a little bit better, bigger armor, the thick armor, the heavy armor, nailed it. And then we get into those ones later. Tame and recruit, no. Food and medicine. We got some chef stuff down there. I'm going to go ahead and unlock that too. And then we got vehicle. Oh, we did get medium cage unlocked. Okay, that's new. That's level 31. So that gives us an animal cage, a deer pen, deer fodder. Awesome. Okay. So that is huge. Make fodder, fox pin. I don't know if there's anything else I need on those. Okay, we're good. We also got mechanical crossbow at level 30. We haven't checked that out yet. Okay, that's it. We got to go. 
<laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's kind of a lot. This is my first time doing a playthrough with a game like this where it is very Conan or Ark esque, but it's also very MMORPG, like where you're online. Uh, it's just, it's a huge game. There's so much to it. So hopefully, I'm still giving you guys kind of digestible videos that you guys can get through. They're still fun, and then hopefully, we keep making progress. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.